Hi friends, this is class number second, visualizing solid shapes. Today I am going to discuss nets for building 3D shapes and drawing solids on a flat surface by two methods, the oblique sketches, isometric sketches. Let us discuss how to build nets for 3D shapes first. First take a box. Cut the edges to lay the box flat. Now you are getting the nets for the box. Then how can you define a net? A net is a sort of sort of skeleton outline in 2D which when folded results in a 3D shape. Now let us watch the net of some 3D shapes. Here you have a cuboid. Now let us see its net. Let me make the just to lay the cuboid flat. Here. Now you can see here the net of this cuboid. So in this shape you will get now if you fold it back you will get a cuboid. Now let us see another cuboid, net of another cuboid another uh, solid shape. Here you have a triangular prism. When you unfold through its edges you will get its net. So this is the net of this triangular prism. Here you have a pyramid. Now let us see its net. This is the net of a square pyramid. Now, I will show you some net. Can you identify the solid shapes of that net? Can you identify the solid shape? This is a net of a solid shape. Yes, it is a cylinder. What about this? This is a net of a cone. What about this? Yes, it is the net of a cube. Now let us look at the test book exercise. Here, identify the nets which can be used to make cubes. There are six nets are given. You have to cut out the same nets and try to make it a cube. Among these, how many nets can be used to make the cube? You have to find out. Try yourself. Here you have a die. Dice are cubes which are having dots on its faces. There is a speciality of number of dots in each face. Let us have a look on it. This face contains four dots and its opposite phase it will be three here five 
and its opposite face it will be 2 here it is 1 and its opposite face contain 6 dots can you find out any speciality on this here 6 1 6 plus 1 is 7 here it is 4 and 3 4 plus 3 it is 7 here it is 2 and its opposite side 5 that means some of the opposite faces will be a total of 7 dots here you have question number 2 and 3 Dice. here is a net of a die 2 dice the number inserted in each square indicate the number of dots in that box now what you ha you have to fill the blank boxes you have to make a die using this net and check the number on the opposite face should be a total to 7 that means the numbers come opposite face of 6 should be 1 4 should be 3 like that now question number 3 a net is given can this be a net for a die you make a net make a die using this net and check whether opposite total of number on the opposite face should total to 7 or not question 4 is here is an incomplete net for making a cube complete it in at least two different ways remember that cubes has six faces now how many are there in the net there? here here three faces given another three faces you have to make in two different ways draw the sub diagram in question number one you have a different types of net for a cube you can refer it to now match the nets with appropriate solids here the solid shapes are there here nets are given you find out the appropriate solid now let us see how to draw solids on a flat surface one of the method is oblique sketches here is a picture of a cube you can see some of the faces are not seen and the length also it looks not equal still you can recognize it is a cube such sketches we can call it as oblique sketches now let us see how to draw a cube to draw oblique sketches you need a squared paper let me draw a 4 into 4 into 4 square that means 4 cm length 4 cm breadth and 4 cm height first the front face we can draw I drawn the front face now the opposite face also next you have to draw so while drawing the opposite face just one unit above you have to draw now join the vertices here join the vertices which we can see outside here is the oblique sketch of the oblique sketch of a cube here you can see all the faces are actually not equal in measure so to draw an equal measure 
we have another method that is isometric sketches. Let us see how it is. Now first prepare an isometric dot sheet. How will you prepare it? You just take the alternate vertices of each square in a squared paper in this way. Now, now the missed one you just mark it in the next layer. That means upside there should not be any point. In this way you can make. Again the same way you can proceed you will get a isometric dot sheet. First layer of dot I completed. Now the middle layer we can start in this way. Here you can see small equilateral triangle made up of dots. Here is the isometric dot sheet. Now let me draw a cuboid of length 3, breadth 3 and height 4. First we have to draw the front face of the cuboid. Here length is 3, breadth is 3, height is 4. So first length and breadth that is length and height 3 into 4 we can draw first. Take 3 unit 1, 2, 3 unit length and from here 4 unit height. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now draw 4 parallel line segments starting from each corner of unit 3 that is 1, 2, 3. From each corner you have to take 3 units 1, 2, 3. Now join the endpoints. Here is a cuboid of length 3, breadth 3 and height 4. This is how we can draw using isometric sketches. But here you can see all the length, breadth, height are units are equal. Whereas in oblique the length of the sides will not be equal. Here is the questions of HSS 15.2. Use isometric dot paper and make, the, make an isometric sketch for the for each one of the given shapes. Here four oblique sketches are given that is six unit length, two units breadth and three meter height cuboid is given. What you have to do is you have to draw a isometric dot sketch, isometric sketch of this cuboid. So first make a Isometric dot paper takes its unit length, 2 unit breadth, 3 meter height and draw the same figure. And the same way you have to do second, third and fourth figure. Look at the second question. The dimensions of a cuboid are 5 cm, 3 cm and 2 cm. Draw 3 different isometric sketches of this cuboid. So first you have to make isometric dot paper. Now you can take 5 cm length, 3 cm breadth, 2 cm height 
the same you can write take it as 5 cm of breadth, 3 cm height, 2 cm length. Like the three different way you can draw it in a same isometric dot sheet. Next question is three cubes each with a 2 cm edge are placed side by side to form a cuboid. Sketch an oblique or isometric sketch of this cuboid. So you have to make one cube with the 2 cm edge and above that you can make the same cube. Now you will get a cuboidal figure. Either you have to make a sketch of oblique or isometric. And the fourth question is make an oblique sketch of the each of the one of the isometric shapes. Here isometric shapes are given. You have to draw an oblique sketch for these two figures. Now the last question is give an oblique sketch and an isometric sketch of the following. A cuboid of direction dimensions 5 cm, 3 cm and 2 cm. Length you can take it as 5, breadth 3 and height 2. Both the sketch, sketch you have to do. Next a cube with an edge of 4 cm long. An oblique sketch and isometric sketch of the cube also you have to do. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.